Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. And this is going to be a short tutorial about how to uh, build and use exosuits. And you probably want to get some exosuits when once you get down to the bottom of the map here where it's getting really nice and hot. Because if you send your dupes in here, they're going to get scalded and burned and they're going to take damage. So exosuits protects them from these, these high temperatures. But they're also good for digging into the slime, which is full of germs. So if you want to dig in here without kind of spreading too many germs around, exosuits are a really good idea. Now if you open up your research panel, you can see uh, where what you need in terms of research to get them. And down near the bottom here, there's environmental protection, which has a few prerequisites, improved ventilation and clothing. And once you get this, you can build um, the ex exosuit forge, the exosuit dock, and then the exosuit checkpoint. And so we're going to build the forge first. But in order to build the forge, it's under uh, stations, uh, exosuit forge. You're going to need some refined metals. Uh, and in order to get refined metals early on in the game, you have to build a rock granulator, which um, also has pre uh, prerequisite research. And that's up here by brute force re uh, refinement. So you just need advanced research and then brute force refinement and you'll be able to refine uh, copper ore into regular copper. So we'll assume that you've got that, you've got some refined copper, and I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put the forge, let's say down, down here. Now it requires 480 watts of power, which is quite a bit of power. I'm in debug mode, so I can kind of instantly build these things, but normally your dupes would be building them. So, I usually just build one and then uh, make a few exosuits and then kind of deconstruct it or disconnect it from my power until I need it later on. So I've already got uh, a copper ge or a coal generator up here, a smart battery. Uh, I went over that in the last tutorial, uh, tutorial number five, if you're interested in how I set this up. So once this is set up, then you select uh, Atmosuit, you queue a bunch up, and I won't cheat this time, I'll actually Q one up, and it requires copper ore, not not refined copper, but just regular copper ore, and reed fiber. Now, reed fiber early on is often in the um, in the slime biome, which is kind of a catch twenty two. Like you want to get you want to get the exosuit so you can get in the slime, but luckily there was some reed fiber or thimble reeds growing up here, which produced reed fiber. You can also grow them if you have seeds, but early on you probably won't have seeds, so you best bet is just to get them from the wild here. So if you've done some uh, exploring, you should have some kind of thimble reed accumulating here. And there was four here, I think, before. Uh, now there's two because we've queued up a suit. Oh, we got one suit made, so let's make another one. Our dupes are in slow motion there. So we're only going to be able to get two suits out of that. but. If you keep exploring around the map, you'll find places where you can get reed fiber. Like there's some in here that's been growing. And there's fluted oxygen in here, but what I suggest you do is just build like an airlock. Um, get, your, get your dupes to dig in there. Actually, I'm gonna cheat just to speed things up here for you guys. So build an airlock, dig in there, and then build a deodorizer so that the air can start getting cleaned out that way it'll be nice pure oxygen in there and then they can get in there and get that reed fiber set the priority of the uh, deodorizer a bit higher so they can get some sand in there and then with the with the airlock you can control kind of who goes in and who goes out so once they once they load it up with sand you might want to uh, lock them out of the room just so they're not breathing nasty polluted oxygen now there's no germs in there Luckily, uh, sometimes the polluted oxygen will have germs, so you probably want to avoid that. But uh, like here's some that's growing, but it's not growing because there's chlorine in the air. Anyway, once you've got some suits made, what you need to do next is build the exosuit docks themselves. I'm just going to turn this printing pot off for now. So that's that's under stations. You've got exosuit docks. And I'm going to build just two of them. And you'll also need a 
under stations, you'll need a exosuit checkpoint. Now this confused me for the longest time. It has a direction, it has a little arrow, and you point it in the direction uh, that you want the dupes to go out in. So it's kind of set up like this, because we want them coming out of the out of the base this way, in a nice airlock situation, so that none of the, if if nasty gases build it out build up in here, they're not going to make their way back in here. So you want to also leave a bit of room so you can expand your exosuit docks. You can have as you know kind of as many as you want, but for now I'm just going to build two. Now these need 120 watts of power each. If we look under power, we can see 120 watts. So I'm going to hook up some power to that. And now it also needs oxygen. You can see like a little input port. If we open the oxygen or the gas overlay F7, we can see there's an input port. Now it, uh, let's take care of that first. So we need oxygen. Actually, let's put some suits in first. So if, if you click an exosuit dock, you click uh, deliver exosuit and they'll go and pick up the exosuits that they made and stick them on these little racks. So there we go, they're on the racks. Now we just need pure oxygen in here. So you could build a gas pump and extract oxygen from your base, but I don't really like to do that because it's kind of fighting with oxygen in the base. So what I, what I usually do is build a little, actually I've never done this, but uh, <laughs> this is how uh, I would do it. I'd build a little sealed room like this and put in an algae deoxidizer. Hook that up with some power. Set the priority slightly higher so that they come and deliver some algae into it. So that's gonna fill this room up with pressurized oxygen. Oh, they're using the suits already. Even though there's not oxygen in there. Interesting. Maybe it's because I'm in uh, debug mode. Anyway, uh, this room will pressurize with oxygen. So we want to be able to extract oxygen from this little room and send the oxygen into these suits. You can see right now it's saying no gas intake. So we'll go under ventilation, we'll build a gas pump. You can use gold or copper, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to put it kind of right above the, uh, or just to the side of the algae deoxidizer. Actually, I'll put it right above. Now, just in case there's other gases in here, like the dupes might come in and exhale some CO2 or there might be some other gases, we want to filter pure oxygen out. So we're going to go under ventilation and, and build a gas filter as well. Now these have an input port, the white port. They have a filtered output, the orange one, and then they have a green output, which is everything else. So I'm going to just put one of those in there. And I'm going to hook this up. Now I usually do all my gas piping with the bisolite just because all the temperatures are contained. In this case, it doesn't really matter because this area is probably not going to be too hot or cold. But I'll use a bisolite just to make it simple. So the pump has an output which is going to go into the filter. And then the filtered output, we're going to select, select oxygen later, but that's going to come out this way. And we're going to send that off to our suits. Now there's many ways you can branch off here. If you, right now I only have two suits, so I'm just gonna branch off like this. And in this case, 50% of the oxygen will go here, 50% will go here. But let's say we had a bunch of, uh, a bunch of these docks set up. You might wanna branch a little bit higher so that 50% goes to like four suits and 50% goes to the other four suits. That way the oxygen's being kind of evenly spread out and maybe I'll show that uh, quickly at the end of this video. So these things both need power, so we're going to hook up some power. Hook that filter up, hook that pump up. And the exosuit forge, I'll just make a bunch of suits just so we have a bunch. And then we'll just destroy it so it's not consuming any power anymore. So now we've got, uh, we've got gas pumping into the filter. And we have to select a filtered output, so I'm going to select pure oxygen. Now the reason I have this filter is if any, let's say there's some CO2 in here and it sucked up some CO2. 
If the CO2 made its way into the suits, it would damage the suits and they'd have to repair them. So that's why I do that. Now this filter also needs a an output for everything else. So we're going to build a little short line here with a, a gas vent. So that everything else will just go out there. Right now it's all pure oxygen, so it's not a problem. Now we can see the suits are getting oxygen and they will start to fill up. Oh, we can see a little green bar, so they're they're getting full. You can see the oxygen flowing in. Now the nice thing about having it off this algae deoxidizer is that your your main base algae deoxidizer is not going to um, kind of have all ox all the oxygen stolen away. If we if we sucked it out of the base, then the dupes wouldn't really like it. So this is kind of a dedicated one. Now it is going to get warm in here, so you'll probably want to put a weaswort or two in there. So we'll build a flower pot under furniture out of granite. I'll put a couple in. And then as, as, if you've done uh, some kind of exploratory digging, you should have found an ice biome. And ice biomes have these guys called weaswarts, which kind of cool down the air around them. So I'll dig a few of those up. Got two here. And we'll go plant them in here. We might not. I'll plant one for now. Priority seven. It's possible that this actually won't get that hot. And it's it's okay if the if hot oxygen goes into the suits. They're fine with hot oxygen in their suit. It doesn't actually bother them. But now they're protected from the elements. They can go in super cold. They can go in super hot. Uh, they can also they also have their own supply of oxygen. If they have to go to the bathroom though, they'll have to come back and take off their suit. But they can that that way like they can go into chlorine and they don't have to worry about not breathing because they got oxygen in their suit. So you may also want to build a sink. Uh, I I usually build a sink right here, so that if they're coming in, uh, they'll wash their hands before they come and go out of the base. So I'm gonna just do a instead of a regular sink, I'll do a. Let's see. A under medicine. I'll just do the wash basin, but you probably want to set up a, a sink because that way they won't have to come keep filling it with water and removing water out of it manually. And really, you only need it to be the left, just in case they encounter dirty things out here. Now, I don't think it's necessary, but I always build it just because I'm paranoid. Um, now, if we tell them to go dig slime. Uh, see, this slime has tons of germs if we put on the germ overlay. Um, they'll be protected, and their suits will get dirty and covered with slime. Slime lung. But, uh, it won't, it won't come into the base unless you tell them to bring it into the base, which we're not going to do. But let's, uh, let us set up a dig here where we store the slime underwater. That's a safe way to store it for later use. And let's just see here how we can safely get in here. I'm going to kind of come over the top here. Actually, I'm going to come in this way. I'll dig some of it quickly just to so we can quickly get in there. But we would want to build an airlock probably right here. And also put a um, deodorizer in there because I can see some polluted oxygen. Now I'm not going to break into this slime just yet. I'm just going to put a ladder up here. And that should be good. Now I'm going to turn off the old cheat mode. You, we can assume they built all that safely. But now they can actually get in there. And I want them to actually start digging this out. So we're going to actually dig out some slime, set the priority of this deodorizer really high so that they keep the air clean. So it's all about containment. You don't want the, you don't want the polluted oxygen getting out. Now that we've dug a little bit of slime, it's going to start giving off um, slime lung and it's going to get in the air. But because they're wearing their suits, they'll be protected. And because we have this deodorizer, 
the polluted oxygen will get cleaned up. At least the polluted oxygen down here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig in here, fill the ladder down to the bottom, and put a container at the bottom of the water, underwater. And this is where we're going to store all our slime. That way it doesn't go into the base, it doesn't, uh, doesn't spread germs everywhere. We're trying to keep it contained. And they'll be protected, they'll be able to go underwater in their suits. So actually, let's build a few containers. And I'm gonna just build them quickly with kind of cheaty mode, just to quick move things along here. And we're gonna select under organic, we're gonna select slime at a high priority, priority eight. So they just dug out all that slime, it's gonna get really nasty in here. But they're gonna they're going to eventually come build this ladder. Let's do it a high priority. Let's help them along. Actually, we'll just let them build it. We'll get through it. And as they're building that, I'll just explain. You'll notice they're moving really, really slowly in these suits. And that's because uh, they don't have the exosuit engineer uh, job. So as they kind of level up here, Otto's ready to be leveled up. So we'll put him in, in Courier. Once they have Gopher and Courier, uh, they'll be able to train an Exosuit Engineer. And that gives them a Exosuit Sprinting ability as well as plus two to Athletics. Now we'll, we'll just cheat and we'll give Otto that skill and we can probably see how much faster he moves here. If he, if he actually comes and uses the uh, suits. Now you may also want to put a just a regular pneumatic door here to be able to control who comes in and who goes out. So autos are only dupe that's good at uh, exosuits. So let's say only auto can come and go. Everyone else can leave, uh, sorry, everyone else can come back in, which is the left arrow, but only auto can come and come and go. So who's this right now? This is Marie, that's Joshua. But from now on, only Otto can go through. And let's let's assume we had two dupes that had, uh, let's say Joshua also had this skill. So we'll let Joshua go in and out as well. There we go. So Otto's up here. We can see he's a little bit faster now. Now that he's got the skill, he can run a little bit faster. Which is nice. How's the temperature in here? This is staying nice and cool. So that's good. We could probably put some more suits in. Uh, we have enough power, I think. Let's see how much power we have on this line. So potential power consumed 840. 840. So we can only get one more dock in here. So let's stick one more dock in. Exosuit dock. And it needs power. And also oxygen. So instead of splitting off right here, maybe I'll split off this way. That way, half the oxygen, sorry, half of the oxygen will go to this third suit, and half of it will go this way and then be split off. So 25%, 25%, 50%. And then when you put in a fourth suit, you could branch off here and you'd have an equal spread of oxygen. Now you may also want to put some automation in here, and I went over automation in the last episode. Because this pump, uh, actually, yeah, you might want to do something like a Atmos sensor. Hook that up with a automation wire. And then say something like, uh, only, only run the pump if the pressure is above a thousand. Now it should always be above a thousand, but we also need to deliver our exosuit here. There we go. Now let's see germs. Actually, there's no germs on here. There should be germs on the slime. 
Let's uh, copy the settings here for our other two containers. And now we can safely start digging out some of this nasty slime. Actually, make sure I'm not in... Oh, I'm in cheat mode here. Let's actually dig it out properly. And we'll just see how many germs they get on their suits. We probably also want a uh, deodorizer up here. Use your deodorizers like crazy. They're so valuable. And there's so much sand in the game, it'll take thousands of cycles before you run out. And even if you run out, you can make more later on, so it's not a big issue. So there they go. They're they're digging, digging the slime and putting it in the containers right away. Which is excellent. And it's kind of contained. You may also want to put uh, a deodorizer down, kind of closer to your the entrance of your base, just in case some polluted oxygen gets there. I might put one up here as well. Now they're they're using chlorine gas to deodor uh, kill the germs on these containers. But there's actually no because they just sprayed it with chlorine. Uh, that's fine. But you can see their suits are covered in germs. So Joshua here, when he when he heads back into the base, let's just keep an eye on him. There he goes. And he's they're both covered in germs. Look at them. But let's slow things down and watch as they come in the base here. Actually, they're not done yet. They're still busy. <laughs> Here they come. Covered in germs. Oh, they're going to do all the jobs first. That's good. Okay, here they go. They're about to enter the base. And you can see they take off their suit. And the suit's covered in germs. They themselves are actually, they have no germs. So this sink is probably not necessary, but I just do it just in case. And they'll come along periodically and spray the suits and remove all the germs. So that's kind of like a basic guide to the exosuits. I think I covered everything that's needed. Now you, some people build these uh, under utility. There's an ore scrubber. And you can build those. They kill uh, 480,000 germs and they remove germs from rocks and stuff. I don't actually bother with them because I I store my my slime underwater like this uh, that keeps the slime uh, from giving off its polluted oxygen otherwise it kind of just dissolves over time like if this was open to the air it would give off polluted oxygen and eventually it would disappear and what I usually do is I build my um, under refinement where is it refinement there's a thing called an algae distiller and I usually build that outside the base and this thing turns slime into algae so maybe I'll build one uh, let's see right here so they load slime into this uh, and it outputs algae as well as polluted water so we have a place here to put the polluted water So I'm just building an algae distiller here, uh, which allows you to turn slime into algae. That way we can do all the all the dirty slime work outside the base, and they're all protected in their exosuits. So this thing, like I said, takes in algae and outputs, uh, sorry, takes in slime and outputs algae, as well as polluted water, and we'll just make some more room for polluted water to go here. Take a little bit more room here so we would kind of put an output pipe from this thing let's just get them to build it first so it'll need power as well and where i got i already have too much power on this line so in this case i'll probably just use a uh, coal generator let's just quickly put one of those in uh, this is going to be really messy, but I just want to quickly do it to show you guys. I don't recommend building it here, but... 
let's just do it really quickly. So power, gold generator, smart battery. Connect it up with a wire. Also connect that wire to the algae distiller and some automation wire. And we'll set the smart battery to 50% or so. And set the priority pretty high on this coal generator. Now this thing needs a liquid output. So we'll build a small short pipe here. Now it can be out of granite or sandstone because it's just, it's just uh, going right here. And I'll actually just put it there and put a vent at the end. You need a vent at the end of the pipe for the liquid to come out. And we'll set the priority of this up a bit. Now I do have a separate detailed tutorial on how to deal with slime and slime lung. So this was supposed to be more about exosuits and I covered that, but I thought I'd just show you, you know, some actually using the exosuits to actually do some useful work. So they'll take the slime out of here. Now you have to be careful here because the algae that comes out of here might be covered in slime lung and you don't want that being delivered in the base. So we may want to also put uh, select or, uh, algae here for our uh, containers. Now, if you want to, if you want to kill all the germs in your algae, you could put a storage container in your chlorine room, and maybe I'll just do that quickly. Let's put some storage containers in there. And we'll select, under organic, we'll select algae. Maybe priority eight. Copy the settings. That way, any kind of nasty algae that has germs on it will end up in here. And the germs will die pretty much instantly in the chlorine. It's possible they'll bring some slime lung in through the door here but it shouldn't be that much of an issue because it's it's going in here right away let's just see we got some algae in here it actually has food poisoning on it it doesn't have uh oh this one has this one has a hundred and ninety thousand germs on it and they're growing so eventually they'll bring that in. This is where you might want to use an ore scrubber right here to kill the germs, but I like just sticking it in a chlorine room instead. Now there's no germy algae in there yet, but they're grabbing algae from the whole base and putting it in here, so, but that's fine. We've got a nice big chlorine storage room. I'm just waiting for them to deliver some really, really nasty algae so we can see how fast the germs die but but so far things look pretty good you can set up multiple of these algae distillers as well and maybe I'll do that just to move things along quicker under refinement oops algae distiller I think I can build it right over top there. Maybe priority eight's a bit high. Let's just do six on both of those. That way, as you dig out your slime, um, it gets kind of sequestered in these containers, processed, and then delivered into a germ killing room. The other nice thing about having uh, polluted water here and digging it out is like if you dig above here uh, get the dupes to dig, dig along here the slime will fall into the water and it'll be protected until they deliver it into the container I just realized they can't get in there right now so we'll have to give them a ladder oh now they're going to be able to get all that nice slime in there before they couldn't So 
that's kind of a quick guide on exosuits and uh, dealing with slime. Like I said, those exosuits are also good for getting down into the super hot biome here, but I won't necessarily show that. I, I usually set an exosuit dock at the bottom of my base, so I would set one up right here so that they can go out uh, safely. And then I also put one at the top of the base. Some people put them on the right and the left. Some people just put them on, have one entrance and then have tunnels that kind of branch off. It's really up to you. But I find the top and the bottom is the easiest for me. So I probably missed some finer details, but I let me know in a comment if I have, because th that way other other people can learn from the comments as well, whatever I missed. And like I said, I'll, I'll link to, I've already linked, in the description there'll be a link to my other playlist that has detailed guides, and one of those detailed guides is on how to deal with slime and slime lung. I also, in that video, I also show them actually getting sick, getting slime lung, and then how to get them to recover using a medical bay and stuff, so... So I hope you enjoyed that. As always, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.